Hello again. Should I do another video? <laughs> Two in one day. I don't know if I'll upload this today. I may upload it tomorrow um, because I kind of look put together today. Um, I also need to order like a phone stand or something. <laughs> so that I can actually record these videos inside instead of in the car if I happen to be inside. Um, so should we talk about the next thing? The entities, the dark entities that have been more prevalent in trying to mess with people um, and coming after people. So this is kind of where I've been, well, among all the other stuff I talked about in the last video, but trying to figure out this targeting that I talked about in the last video and what it was that was targeting people. Um, at first I thought it was just me. And then, um, <clears throat> I talked to other healers who were experiencing not the same stuff, but like their own flavor of it. And, um, when I started asking about what it was spiritually, and looking at it and like seeing if I could see it and see what it was, I started to see an entity and it's an entity that I've seen before and it's a dark entity. And I've seen it take a couple different forms. One is like this large black spidery smoky thing. And then another form is like not of earth. It's like some sort of AI or like robot or like kind of looks like a giant. It has like big like this and then like legs on it. And it has like an army of like other entities that it controls. And then I've also seen it take uh, the form of like a golem type entity. Um, and I've seen all multiple forms of it. And I don't, it seems like it's a similar thing that takes different forms from when I've been piecing this together with others and um, really trying to put this together and to figure out how to banish it and to, um, reduce its influence in people's lives. And I've had, I've seen clients with it. I've talked to other healers who've had this thing in there messing with their lives. Um, okay. Before I talk more, my name is Sarah Petruno. <laughs> I'm a shamanic practitioner. Um, I have been a shamanic practitioner practicing shamanism, learning shamanism in this lifetime since 2013. So almost 10 years. And my awakening in 2012 um and then shortly thereafter figured out that this was these were what my gifts were i did not want them to, to be my to be what it was for me um but here we are and there was a lot of adversity i used to have a bigger youtube channel i used to have a lot of videos on here um but then i got kind of bullied by the shamanic gatekeepers who say that only certain people can do this um ignoring that it's been around like 35,000 years and exists like in every culture and there's different shamanic lineages. And we've talked about all this before in other videos. Um, but I feel like a lot of this is be starting to become more, um, well accepted and understood, even though there's still like weird shamanic beef going on. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Um, the point of this video is to talk about these weird entities, <laughs> these, these dark entities. And, um, I've had, Two people ask about them and the demonic entities that have been coming up. And I'm not even sure that they're demonic. They're just dark. They have, like, dark intentions. They're associated with darkness. Um, yeah, have I seen demonic entities? Sure. Have Have I seen a more of a prevalence of them? Kind of. And this year I've seen more of the specific type of entity that maybe is not from Earth. Is, like, some sort of AI um, or other sort of dark off-planet entity. Um... And like I talked about in the last video, this past year, I have learned way more about how darkness can operate in the physical world than I ever wanted to. Um, and that I have really ever seen <laughs> in on earth at any time in the past 10 years, like doing this practice. Um, and I truly don't know if that's because there's, it's more of it's becoming apparent to me or if it's like more that I'm oh, like, more that I'm seeing, like, as I progress along the sh shamanic journey. I don't know. Um, but I have seen more of it ever than in the past 10 years that I've been, past almost 10 years that I've been on this journey. Um, and lately, the past couple of months, I started to identify what it was and what it looked like and how it was operating and how to banish it. 
Um, and so this is going to be like a specific type of entity that I have been seeing and I have kind of figured it out. And so if you've had experience with it, then maybe, you know, maybe you don't, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, and by see it, I mean like clairvoyantly, some people can actually see it with their physical eyes. So what I'm describing is like an AI thing and it has like, it's like this dark, it's just a dark entity. And, um, what we know about it is, and what, what we've come to understand about it is it has some measure of control specifically over uh, intuitives and healers in other lifetimes, um, perhaps as like a slave type arrangement or agreement or contract, um, or some measure of control over humans in general in other lifetimes. And it is trying to, I don't want to say control people again, but like I talked about in the last video, get people to get people who have, um, spiritual light worker, light bringing, light anchoring into darkness. Callings <laughs> in this lifetime. It's doing what it can to try and kill you, to, in extreme cases, kill you, um, to try and stop you, to try and eliminate you, to try and get you to stop your calling. That's like essentially what it is. Um, and it may, you might be able to be like, well, I just have a regular job. Like I don't have a calling. Like I'm not on YouTube like you. Um, that doesn't matter. <laughs> like, like there's so many ways that people are what we, what they call volunteer energy transmuters in that you're, you can just exist and like our anchoring light and that's your role. And, um, and our, not only anchoring light, but transmuting dark energy to light. Um, and if you're somebody who has that role, whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not, then that can potentially make it so that you're have become a subject of interest, <laughs> so we say, of this entity and of this energy of this darkness. Um, now, the good news is, is that it thrives off of you not knowing that it's that that's what it's doing of you not knowing that like it's behind all this all of certain things that you're experiencing and so once you start to identify it and see it and say I know it's you and you didn't get me this time and you have no control or power over me um it starts to lose its power it gains its power by you being afraid of it by you uh being fearful of it by you um being afraid or fearful of what it's doing of like the things that it's doing in your life and really what it takes is is something happens or you notice its action and you say hey you didn't get me that time see how powerless you are compared to me like you're you're weak and you're due don't have power and um I don't consent to this agreement in this lifetime we may have had an agreement in this path in the past and that's over and I'm breaking it and this contract is over and you no longer have power over me and any um of my relations in any of my networks in any of my webs in any of my energy sphere in this lifetime and anytime it t attempts to come back call it out and say see you didn't get me that time where this is over, we're done, we're not doing this anymore, like you have no more power over me. And it's really consistent effort of that um, as effort of, of you diminishing its power over you um, and pulling power back, um, really just through that intention and strong wording and acknowledgement that you know what it's doing and it's not, you don't consent to it doing that. Um, now, this is an eight minute video about something that I've been exploring for like two years <laughs> and like most um, more intensely over the past five to six months. Um, and so this is obviously, I we can't cover everything here. You know, all my videos are like that. Like I can't cover all the potentials of different caveats of different personal situations um, in an eight or nine or 10 minute video on YouTube of like years of, I can't condense it all into this and, or go down every rabbit hole or talk about every possibility or talk about what if this, what if that, what if whatever. Um, and so this is like a generalization, <laughs> right? That's kind of like, that's the best I can do right now for YouTube. I can't, you know, I'm not hosting a class on it and I'm not even ready to. Um, I'm really just sharing this because um, a couple people have asked and I like, I'm not ready to put out a thesis or like a class on it or like out, even do an outline. <laughs> 
or anything like that. I'm just um, sharing what we've learned so far. Um, and there are some other people who have helped me come to this theory, Others, other healers and shamans who I've talked to privately. And I don't even know if I, they want themselves doxxed here. Um, so you guys know who you are. And I just want to say thank you <laughs> for helping work together to put this together. Um, and if you want me to dox you or like put a website down below, like send me, that to me. <laughs> um, but I, I don't want to, to put that out there for people who aren't like, you know, who aren't there yet or don't want to or anything like that. And I didn't want to do this video. Actually, I was going to do it a couple months ago, but I wasn't, I wasn't ready. Um, like it hadn't diminished. I needed to d get the power diminished to a point, um, so that I could talk about it in a way to not give it power. Um, which I hope that's what I'm doing here is we're drawing attention to it, uh, to that energy and hopefully help giving you guys some wording and some language and some tips to, um, if it is messing with you and you have identified with it. And so, okay, so what are some signs that it might be? Well, it can talk to you and tell you dark things. Um, that's the energy or the entity. Some people call it Satan. It might be, but it, can also be this entity um and it usually pops up like at certain times not all the time it's like certain times when you're like particularly feeling vulnerable um so that's one sign um that it's doing that and it's um and I don't even want to get myself in trouble here but it can cause um unaliving ideation in your life um and of course, like I'm not a mental health practitioner and I'm not saying that you should substitute this for mental health or anything like that, but I have seen that. Um, and I want to mention that. Um, and this is all from shamanic speaking, shamanic speaking, according to the government and YouTube, this is entertainment purposes only. What I'm talking about is fantasy land. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's that. Um, I hope maybe that helped somebody out there. Um, and I don't even know when we call this video. We'll find out um, when I do it. Maybe I'll upload it right now because why not? Why wait? for con Unless I want to put content out there <laughs> like later and schedule content later, um, which I don't care about anymore. I don't care about that in my life right now. Um, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if there's anything else you want me to talk about that I can do in a 10 minute video, 10 to 15 minute video or address or bring out my experience with, you can put it in the comments below. I may or may not ghost them. I just forget about the YouTube comments. I like leave and then I forget to come back. Um, but one thing I struggle with here is like, what do people even care about or want to know? <laughs> because I'm like, ah, none of this feels important um, to me. That's sometimes what I feel like here. Um, so that's all. I hope that helped. See you next time, whenever that is. Bye.